Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, it's that time again. This one is hammered and it's fitting time. So uh, look at that. It's gone there this time. Let's get a new one on. The uh, new one still got the uh, excess lace trim on it, which I'll take off in a in a second. I'll just show the hairline before we put it on. I've done the same sort of design as usual. Uh, I've kept the uh, my my base color hair. Um, about three quarter inches from the roots. That's all my natural color that would blend in and match uh, to my side hair. And I've got that all the way around the side and back perimeters of the system, okay? So that's all my brown base color hair that should match this hair here. And I've only really got the highlights put, as usual, through the absolute center uh, from the front to the crown and a little bit on the sides. But all the perimeter hair will be uh, base color. Um, and as I said, all the way through the system, I think, yeah, it should be about three quarter inch dark and then the blonde streaks uh, begin. So I'll just show the hairline uh, up close. I've gone for a nice extra light density as well. Um, so hopefully that should, if I zoom in on the camera, to hopefully all the knots have been bleached properly, nicely, with a nice graduated hairline. So I'll just take this trim off, get it on the block and we'll get it cut in. Uh, layer uh, you'll notice the uh, the brown is starting to uh, come to an end this is probably the last sort of bit of brown only base color hair to be sort of cut and then the next layer up now we're looking at uh, we're into the blonde streaks basically so you can see it's brownish under there and then we're blending the blonde over into the brown now uh, the reason I probably said this on other videos but the reason I uh, put um, brown base colour or on the side just so that you know I'm not constantly having to change the constant that is my own brown colour hair here I mean if I got blonde all the way over it just won't blend properly and I'd forever be putting up blonde highlights into my short hair at the sides so that's the reason I have it just base colour there brown base colour so I never have to mess with my own hair and I just have the blonde almost looking and giving the illusion that the blondes was put in maybe you know a couple of months ago and it's sort of at that growing out stage, hence why we uh, make it three quarter inch from the root before the blonde starts. I was so young, young in every way, thought life was just a game. sort of quite long around the sides uh well well around the back area this is so this is how long i have it around the back uh, and then it gets gradually shorter as i come into the temple areas and then a little bit longer again at the front but it's all pretty much the same in terms of the length of that is that same as that that's perfect either side that's a bit shorter the same either side temple is the same i think the front's just over two inches so that is ready to go on. So let's get it taped up and get it on. Okay, so now we're just going to put the tape on. We use, um, well, for mine, I use Walker's lace support tape. Um, and I just have it going around the perimeter, but only the side and back perimeter. So I'll just tape it all the way around there. And then at front, we're going to be using glue, which obviously goes uh, straight on my uh, skin. Thing. I've taken the old one off obviously now um, I've already uh, applied the glue at the front and that's gone clear already uh, just obviously got the front held back with a clip whilst it was drying um, it's all taped on around the back and sides using the uh, position spray so I've shown all that on another video so uh, no need to repeat so that's sort of just about dry now and it's ready to press down so 
the reason I want to record this bit on pretty much every video is, is to basically uh, just show how how to do this because this bit's so important because when you attach the back first and then you do the front after a lot of people get that kind of rippling effect which is ideally the best way to put it on it is kind of from front all the way to back that's ideally the best way uh, to avoid all that but obviously if you're doing your own maintenance this really is the only way well this is the easiest way i find to do it myself so to kind of limit that kind of wrinkling effect uh as I've shown on many videos, I'm going to do the same on this one. You kind of just pull it from the center and sort of stretch it down. So I look in the mirror while I'm doing this. So you sort of pull it from the center so that this is flat. And if you are going to get your wrinkles, it's going to be over here, which is out of the way. Um, hopefully, no, there's no wrinkles, but we'll we'll see. So I'll just grab a quick brush. And we'll get some style into it. This one, I've shown this in lots of videos, but the Tresemme Moisture Rich is, is a good one. Because it's, it's not really that greasy, so just a little bit in the palm of your hand. And then just style the hair. Well, style it how you want to style it, but... I'm going to sort of style this one up. I mean, the, the, the haircut that I kind of did this time was... I uh, kept it quite short, but I, I wanted these temple bits to be short and, and it just to be a bit longer in the middle. Under the light, uh, just needs to settle down a bit now. But you can't see the lace anymore, and instead you just see that lovely graduated hairline. Looking like the hair is coming directly out of the uh, scalp. Perfect. Nope. Nope. Nearly. Ah, it just doesn't want to stick. Uh, yes! Got it! Two points.